Hello everyone, we have a very interesting topic today. I will tell you what windows to choose in 2023, what in my opinion are the main trends, the best, coolest things to pay attention to. Well, let's start. First, most importantly, I want to say that when choosing between PVC, wooden or aluminum windows, of course, aluminum is now a trend. It's a growing market. The volume of aluminum windows is increasing. Everyone wants aluminum windows now because they have a number of key advantages. Such large size, very strong, reliable windows cannot be made of PVC. You can only make it out of aluminum. Wooden windows are very unstable, they rot and so on, deteriorate over time from moisture. Aluminum doesn't rot at all, even if it's 10, 20 or 50 years old, nothing will happen to it. So when choosing a material for windows, of course, it's aluminum. Trend number two is energy efficiency. Everyone wants very warm windows now. No one wants to save money on this. So in terms of energy efficiency, I want to draw your attention to systems that have this kind of insulation inside. This is extremely important. Now in Alitech, for example, look how much insulation is inside. It's a window system, it's a sliding one, a lot of insulation. And here is another system, simpler and cheaper. There is no insulation here at all, so think about where this window will be installed. If it's some kind of unheated terrace, you can install it, but if we're talking about glazing a residential house, then make sure your aluminum window system has these insulators. Not all manufacturers have them, but this is a trend of energy efficiency to make the windows as warm as possible. The third trend is probably not quite a trend, but our kind of being. These are hidden hinges. I now have 100% of my orders with hidden hinges, and this has already become, one might say, a minimum standard. So if anyone is still thinking about putting regular hinges, don't do it. Put only hidden ones, because first, it looks better visually, and secondly, it is more airproof. In a standard hinge, the seal contour is undercut, which makes it not as airproof as a hidden hinge. That's why hidden hinges are the best, and you should definitely put them. Trend number four are handles. I honestly didn't pay much attention to the handles before, and also thought that every fitting manufacturer has different handles, and you can't change them. But in fact, you can put any handles on any fitting, and now I focus on the handle very much. I have a huge table in the showroom of these handles with different variants of handles. I have such a fetish, one might say, for these handles. I collect them, so pay attention. Here's a handle, a standard one. It has a big base and it's already in the past. I hardly ever sell handles like this. I mean, it's not very good, it's huge. There are also handles with a small base, like this one, here they are. A handle like this, for example, with a small base, these are more modern, cool handles and we often install them. And there are also exclusive things, like this handle, I won't tell you where I got it, it's an exclusive thing, so only I have such handles, and you can contact me. It's cool because it's not painted, but it's anodized. It's all metal, it just looks great in the hand, and it's so minimalistic and small, so it's a cool thing. And also, one of the new trends is the same design of handles on the windows and doors. There was no such thing before because window fitting manufacturers did not make such fittings on doors. There are now on the market such Spanish handles from the Stat company. We also use them. Look. This is a window handle, no, this is a window handle, and this is a door handle. They look exactly the same. Let me show you. This is how the handle is placed on both sides, and it has the same design as the handle of the window. This is also one of the key trends in the world of handles. Trend number 5 is the choice of paint, namely the color Moir. It is very popular now. And by the way, try to choose colors according to such aluminum sheets of metal, such painted plates. 
it's a lot better than to choose it from those little RAL color samples on a piece of paper where it's not clear what shade it is. Here you have an aluminum sheet which is already painted with the powder paint that you will have. So I have samples in the showroom, gloss, matte and moir. One color, let's say 7016, so when people choose from them, I'm telling you, 88% choose moir. Why? Because first of all, it looks more premium, it is rough, and secondly, it doesn't leave fingerprints. Fingerprints remain even on the gloss and moir, I mean on the matte, and people do not like it very much, and gloss is shiny, choose at least matte, or better moir, that is, to me, moir is the trend. Trend number 6, in my opinion, is the size of the glass unit. Jumbo format is very popular now, huge glass units. We did 15 glass units, 6 by 3 meters on one cottage, can you imagine? It's a super trend, people want as much as glass as possible, a minimum of all those lintels. The large format glass units will remain a trend for a very long time, and in 2023, we are all waiting, the modern glass company from Chelyabinsk will finally launch the production of 12 meter glass units. Can you imagine? It will be possible to make them 12 by 3 meters, it will be a super trend, you can make huge glass walls without any any lintels, so it will remain a trend for a very long time. Trend number 7 is clarified glass. Here look, ordinary and clarified. Clarified glass is becoming more popular. People want clarified glass and it is very cool that our glass manufacturers have learned how to apply all kinds of coatings to clarified glass. So now the trend is clarified glass and all glass, I mean multifunctional and energy saving glass, is based on clarified glass. It looks very cool compared to other glass because there is maximum transparency, very high light transmission with good sun protection and energy saving characteristics. So I think that clarified glass is going to be a very cool trend. Trend number 8 is the structural angle of stained glass. Windows, stained glass, doesn't matter, it's very popular. At almost every project I have, no one makes corners out of metal anymore. No one wants that ugly, opaque part, so they connect the glass to each other, and the structural angle is the trend of trends. So if you don't use structural angles in your projects, be sure to pay attention to this trend and do it like I said above. The structural angle is the best. Trend number 9 is structural glazing. We had them before, but now they somehow start to gain more and more popularity. I mean structural doors. On my projects, people living in private houses often order structural doors. This is when we have a glass door, the outer pane is longer than the rest. So the sash is all glass and there are even pieces of glass glued to the frame. So we have such structural solutions when we want to visually remove aluminum from the outside altogether. These are structural doors, structural windows, top hung, exterior opening, interior opening, doesn't matter, structural stained glass, that is, when there is maximum glass, it will be a trend and it will develop even more. And now the new Alutech systems are coming out, they have special profiles for structural doors, it's quite an interesting trend. Trend number 10 is hidden door hinges and hidden door closers. For some reason, few people use them. I don't know why, but I often have them at my projects. I offer them to customers. We have these hinges and hidden closers in the showroom, so this trend will also gain popularity. More and more people will pay attention to it. Because it's cool when you can't see anything, no hinges, no door closer sticking out, everything is hidden, neat. It's a trend of 2023. Trend number 11 is automatic multipoint locks. Let me explain. The standard multipoint lock, economy class you might say, is when you have such a fitting and additional bolts, upper and lower ones, which are activated when we raise the handle up. 
how does the door work? We closed it, but it closes only on the center bolt. If we want to push additional ones, we need to lift the handle up. This is how it works. On the lock where we have an office handle, these bolts are activated by a key. But now, there is a super trend, few people know about it. There are automatic multi-point locks when we close the door and immediately all three automatic bolts snap out. It does not require any electrical connection. It is not a motor lock, it's just a special spring mechanism. When the door is closed, all bolts automatically trigger. You don't have to pull any handle up, you don't have to think about putting additional bolts into action, the lock does everything for you. This lock is not very expensive and I think this is a trend. I now offer it to all customers and we often put such locks in our projects. Trend number 12, in my opinion, are pivot doors. These are the doors that have the axle at the top and bottom that rotate it like this. Pivot doors recently entered our market. They were not very popular but now they are gaining in popularity. This is due to the size, because everyone wants doors that are 3-4 meters high. No one wants when you have panoramic glazing and there are glass units 4 meters high to have a door divided with some horizontal lintels. Everyone wants a full height door, so the pivot door allows you to do a 4, 5, even 6 meter high door, 2-3 meters wide. There can be a huge weight and enormous size doors, and we did such doors. For example, 2 by 4 meters. It looks very cool. There are stainless steel Janssen, for example, Shuko, there are Alumil, very cool pivot doors. They can be structured, they can be with all sorts of wooden inserts, there are a lot of design options. We now actively offer them, actively sell them, and I think pivot doors is a real trend, because it's a very cool thing. I also want to note that although it's a large door, it's easy enough to open it. I had the experience of installing automation, which helps to open this door. That is, a special drive is installed, and you can adjust it so that when you push the door, it kind of helps you, and in fact, even a small child can open the door weighing more than a ton. It will be easy to open it. There are also sensors that, if a hand or a child is caught in this door, then this automation will stop it. There are a lot of cool options on how to simplify the work of this door, to make it easier and improve the quality of using it. In a word, pivot doors are the best. Trend number 13, in my opinion, are parallel opening and top hung windows so-called facade windows. These are non-standard windows. They are often integrated into the post-transom system. And most often, they are made in a structural design. The advantage of these windows is that you can't see from the outside that you have a window, meaning you have stained glass, glazing, for example, even structural glazing, into which a sash can be integrated. And it won't be clear that there's any sash, because it's all structural, the glass covers the profiles that remain inside. The second advantage is that these windows can be very large. For example, we made parallel opening windows 4.5 by 2 meters. It's one big window, parallel opening. It slides out all the way out like this. Additional scissors can be added to support this weight. And also, these big windows are equipped with automatics and you can activate them from a remote control. And this large window just slides in and out. When we have a task, let's say to glaze our 4 or 4.5 four meters stained glass windows and we don't want additional divisions, we don't want additional profiles, then use such parallel opening or top hung windows like this. This is a super trend and you should pay attention to it. It will be very popular. Trend number 14 was also a trend before and it's a trend now and in 2023 it will also be a trend. I'm talking about folding and lift slide doors. It's very popular, access to the terrace, basically in different levels of houses. There are different systems, super premium and not so premium. But now, in almost every house, you can find some kind of a portal that leads somewhere to the terrace. 
or it's a division of some rooms. That's why folding and lift slide doors are a trend. Order from us. And the last trend, in my opinion, number 15, is aluminum wooden windows. Don't confuse it with wood aluminum, because wood aluminum is wood with aluminum overlays on the outside. Aluminum wooden windows have an aluminum base, that is all the advantages of aluminum windows are present. Strength, reliability, large size. Aluminum windows with wooden linings on the inside, very high quality wood, Italian, not Italian, with all sorts of impregnation. Alutech has released such aluminum wooden systems, other manufacturers also produce them, they appear on the market. It used to be very expensive and only premium European manufacturers like Rainer's Shuko had it. Now it's becoming more affordable, so it's going to be a trend and very popular in 2023. We now use both full solutions when everything is made of aluminum wood and combined solutions when we have aluminum wooden windows installed in steam rooms, saunas and bathhouses. Where the temperature is high, people are afraid to put aluminum because it will heat up. They put aluminum wood and everything is cool, everyone likes it. These linings can be put after the renovation. This is also a big advantage. We put a window, it's all secure, we made the renovation, when all the finishing work is done, we arrive, click these linings into place and all looks good. So aluminum wooden windows are also a trend in 2023. So these are the top 15 trends for 2023. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and write something in the comments. Maybe you think there is some other trend. It will be very interesting for me. I will tell about it later. Anyway, subscribe to my channel, click the bell. Goodbye.